Hey guys, welcome back to our solo mode, unofficial solo mode of Potion Explosion. In this episode, we're going to finish the game and you'll be able to see my score at the end. So, let's get back to it. Here's my board right now. I need, <laughs> I have two of the same exact potions for some reason. I picked that and I thought that that was a good idea. We'll see how it plays out. Here's the dispenser. Uh, so I need red and blue. So I'm going to take this red and those blues hit. They exploded. We take all of those. And here's all the potions I've completed. And I'm going to use one of these. This allows me to take one ingredient for free. No explosions triggered. And that just gives me an extra red one right there. That's what I got. Not too bad. Six marbles. And we're going to apply them to our potions. Bring this one over from our pool. And now I'm going to use another potion I completed. This one's called the Potion of Prismatic Joy. You can place all ingredients in your pool on any holes of your incomplete potions, regardless of their color. So this is great. It's only going to apply to one, but in this mode, it's really about completing as many potions as quickly as possible, even if it's not as efficient. At least that's my strategy. Let me know if you have better luck doing it a different way. So both of these are complete. We're going to take these ingredients, put them back in the dispenser. Flip both of these over, both worth four points, and they're the exact same potion. Now we get to pick two more potions. So again, I'm going for three of a kind of the ones I have. I'm going to take both of those. Take the bottom marble in each track, because it's the end of the round. Move this guy over. And that was the end of the sixth round. The one on the right's worth 10 points, so it's a little harder. So here's where we're at. I'm going to use my abysmal draft, which allows me to take one ingredient of each color from the bottom row of the dispenser slide tracks. I'm going to take this blue and a black, a yellow, and a red. I get all four, which is great. And for my regular pick, I'm going to take this blue and the blacks hit, so I get all these blacks, which is great. Oops, I'm dropping them. And I get to take all of those reds, because they hit. So that's a lot of marbles. <laughs> oh, it's so satisfying though. I love this game. All right, so we're gonna start applying these here. Not too bad. And I'm gonna take the yellow and put it there. And we have these four left over. All right, so that's, that's looking pretty good. And we finished the big potion, one worth 10 points. I'm gonna take all those, put them back in the dispenser, flip this over, perfect. Now we get to pick a new potion. I'm gonna take this one. And we're gonna take the bottom marble from each track. All right, that was the end of the seventh round. Whoops, to adjust my pile here now. End of the seventh round. I'm going to take a little bit of a risk and go for a high one, even though I can't really see what's underneath. Those yellows hit, so that's great. Three yellows. Oh, and it's a blue. Yes, the blues hit. Oh, that was perfect. I had no idea. That worked out really well. I'm also going to use another potion of wisdom, and that allows me to pick one more marble. And I'm going to take a black one. So here's what I got. Not too bad. That worked out better than I thought. Gonna fill up our potions as best we can. Look at that, another perfect round. Filled up both my potions and my pool is filled. So we're gonna take these, all of these, put them back in the dispenser. We are cruising. Oh yeah, look at that. I wanted to show you guys this just because it's so satisfying with all these marbles. All right, so these are both completed, both worth seven points. 
This is good, it's all adding up. Gonna pick two new potions. Let's see, I'll try to work on getting three of a kind. Take the bottom marbles of all the tracks. All right, and that was the end of the eighth round. Two more rounds, guys. Here we are, and I'm gonna use another potion. It's good to do. We're gonna do the Abysmal Draft, which lets me take one ingredient of each color from the bottom row of the dispenser. So I only get two colors, but that's all I need. And for my regular pick, I'm gonna take this blue. And I get these blues. Let's see how we did. All right, that's not terrible. But I'm gonna use my Potion of Prismatic Joy, which allows me to take marbles from my pool and put them on any color I want. So we finished this potion, which is good, making progress. That's worth eight, eight points. Get to pick one new potion. So we're gonna go over this, get our three of a kind. Which we get points for, and we're gonna take the last marble on each track. And that's the end of the ninth round. We got one more round, guys. We gotta fill both of these up. All right, here is where we're at. I think I'm gonna use another potion, Abysmal Draft. Take one of each color from the bottom, and this time I get all four, which is great. And then for my regular pick, I'm gonna take this black one and these yellows hit, so I get those. And I'm gonna, because it's the last round, just keep using potions. I'm gonna use a balm of uttermost stickiness. So I can take two or more adjacent colors. Take these blue. So that's pretty good. 10 marbles. And that should fill us up quite nicely with one left over. Not too bad. Guess it was the best I could do. So we're gonna take all of these. This one's only worth four points, but it gets me a three of a kind, I think. These, this one's worth nine points, which is great. All right, so that's where we're at. Got my three of a kind there. And that is the last token. So that was the end of the 10th round. So now, what I'm gonna do is use the skill tokens. So in the regular game, you only use four skill tokens and you assign them to players as they complete either five unique potions or when they get three of a kind. And in the regular game, you only get a limited number of these tokens depending on how many players you're using. But since this is a solo version and it's really all about scoring points, I'm just gonna use as many as I can to try to get the highest score. I think that's a little bit more fun. At the very beginning of the game, I used a help token, so that's minus two points, but I got five unique potions. I got a three of a kind here, a three of a kind here, a three of a kind here, and one three of a kind here. So that equals 34 points. And that equals 47 points. And that's 36 points minus two so that's 34 points there. Which means my grand total is 115 points. So that's the random but super fun Potion Explosion unofficial solo mode. Let me know what your guys' high score is and uh, we'll see who's the best. Thank you guys so much for watching.